goodness me. How you doing? Thanks for coming in. Welcome to episode nine of Art Class with Herm. If this is your first time here, I'm Herm. Nice to meet you. I'm the only guy here in the room, so easy to talk to. Uh, I'm a freelance uh, illustrator uh, based in Brooklyn, and I'm coming to you from my apartment in Bay Ridge. It's beautiful, it's sunny, and it's April 22nd. And it's Earth Day, but we'll get into that in a second. So this is our ninth episode, like I said, and we'll talk about what we're gonna draw in a second. But if this is your first time here, feel free to go back and check out our other eight episodes. Man, we've drawn everything from Bobby Valentine to his uh, infamous disguise, Mr. Met driving a bullpen car, Pete Alonzo, you name it, we drew it. And if we haven't learned to draw yet, there's still plenty of time and I'm sure we'll be able to hit everything coming up in the next couple of weeks and such. You can watch all of those uh, past videos on uh, all of the seven lines streaming platforms. So that's YouTube, uh, excuse me, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. So uh, YouTube is my favorite way to watch it. You can watch it live as it premieres and you can also watch it really easily on your phone, on your phone and on your television and all of its 1080 4K beauty. Awesome. So uh, a couple of housekeeping things I wanted to talk about. It's been an exciting couple of days, weeks here at Casa de Herm. Uh, so big shout outs to The Athletic and my man, Tim Brit uh, Britton. He wrote a really nice article about me. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, also spoke a lot about our art class here. So I wanted to bring that up. I thought it was really neat that you could see how much fun we're all having together. And it's great to see all the happiness that we're bringing everyone by sharing our drawings along and having some fun. And if you wanted to see a bit more about my process and the work I'm not doing when I'm teaching you how to draw these silly drawings, uh, you can give that a head on there too. And that's on The Athletic and that came out today. Uh, what else, what else? Oh, big shout outs to my friend Gus. He sent me a great letter in the mail. I wanted to just point him out real quick. So he sent this awesome Mr. Met drawing that he did. I thought that was so cute from our first drawing, from our first episode. And looks like he got, look, it's this too, a little color in there. There's me, look how handsome. There's uh, some popcorn and Mr. Med and pizza and stuff. So that's from our second episode, it looks like, when we taught how to draw some of our favorite bullpen, uh, ballpark food and such like that. Awesome. Sorry, I'm so excited. I'm going all over the place. Plus, I've had two cups of coffee, so welcome. All right. So let's talk about the reason that you guys are here today. So not only is it art class with Herm, but today... We're going to be drawing an Earth Day inspired Mr. Met. Pretty cool, right? So Earth Day, I think it's, I don't know exactly when it started, but it's a really good way to talk, to just re a reminder of where we live. And, you know, we live on this beautiful planet and we got to help take care of it. And we can do that by recycling or cleaning up, not throwing our garbage outside on the ground, uh, things like that. So just a good way to, a reminder of every year at least, that we can uh, take care of this beautiful planet of ours. Uh, also, big ups to my one of my best friends, uh, Big Brian. It's his birthday today. He's 36. That's super exciting. Uh, you can follow him at Brian Mayoni Art on Instagram. I tagged him in my latest drawing, uh, excuse me, my latest post on Instagram. So if you want to find that, you can pop on to that. But uh, I'm jumping ahead of this. So uh, as we talked about, we always give a, a, a $10 gift card to some of our favorite drawings that we do on our, our show every week. And this week is no different. So some of the ones that we really enjoyed from our past drawing of Keith and Haji uh, are from these three. We have the Scott family, pretty awesome. Look at Keith with that rainbow mohawk. That's awesome. Uh, Chris and Teresa. So thanks for following along. Thanks for being there. And we love your drawings. And thanks so much for posting it. Awesome. Cool. So we talked about Earth Day. We talked about Brian's birthday. We have our drawing here going through the mental checklist supplies so supplies are pretty straightforward here on our class with herm uh, all you're going to need is just a sheet of paper any paper will do we're going to be drawing on just a piece of paper from the printer eight and a half by eleven but if you wanted to draw on bigger notebook paper all that stuff you're more than welcome to it i recommend markers for crayons or pencils i'm going to be using my brush pen here and again, whatever you want to write with or draw with, you're totally cool with, and we can kind of rock that out. All right, that's enough of me talking. 
You guys ready to draw? Yeah. All right. Let me get my paper here. Okay. So we're going to draw Mr. Met hugging the earth. Pretty cool, right? So don't worry if it looks intimidating. I'm going to walk you through step by step of how to do this drawing. So I'll take it at a nice leisurely pace so we can all catch up on that. And if you're watching this at home, feel free to pause it and go back if you wanted to see maybe how we did a certain line and stuff. So there's plenty of, plenty of chances to catch up. But it's not gonna be too bad. This is gonna be a lot of circles. So there's a circle here in the earth, Mr. Met's head, his eyes, his nose, his hands, lots of circles we're gonna be drawing today. And as you can see, these are not perfect circles. So don't worry if you have to pull out like a cup or a dish or something like that. We're not doing that. We're not about that life. We're just gonna freehand it and have some fun with it and give it a pretty cool shape and bend overall. All right. So I'm gonna be drawing my paper today vertically. That means that it's up and down with like the long end on the side rather than horizontally, which is like this. So let me draw mine vertically. I'm gonna take out my brush pen. So the first thing I'm gonna draw here is we're gonna draw the earth. Basically, we're gonna start with the earth here and then we're gonna build out to the hands and then so on to the head and stuff. So normally if you were drawing, you would kind of lay this all out in pencil and then you can erase parts of it and stuff. But for today, I'm just gonna draw it out in ink so we can build it up in little, little step-by-steps -step there. All right, ready? Cool. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw that earth. So I'm gonna take my pen here and we're just gonna make this like curve, this like half, half circle, almost like a rainbow. So pick where you want it to be. I'm gonna put mine like right here. And the reason I'm gonna put my, so here's the middle of my paper. I'm gonna put it to the right just a little bit so we can have Mr. Met here big. So I'm just gonna take my pen down and I'm just gonna make this big half circle, big like rainbow shape on there. Just like that, nothing too crazy. All right. So now that we have this half circle here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay in Mr. Met's hands. This way he can kind of hug it. So when I put my hands in, one thing you wanna remember is you don't wanna put your circle like too far out to the left or too far into the middle because our circles, we're gonna have Mr. Met's hand. We want him to look like he's hugging the earth, okay? So, so I'm gonna start mine like right about here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna put this like curved line right here. Just a small one like that. You can see that right there. So that's gonna be where I'm gonna put my thumb. So now I'm gonna start off to the left a little bit and I'm gonna continue. And I'm going to bring it to like this. So you see how it's like I almost drew a full circle but basically there's like these two little spots in there. That's what we kind of want to draw with right now. All right, so now that I have those spots, I'm gonna kind of fill those in with our fingers. So first right here, I'm gonna put a thumb. So I draw a thumb as just like, kind of like a bump up, you know, like a little, a little, um, I don't know, sausage. <laughs> I, always, I always go with food here. All right, cool. So that's Mr. Met's thumb. So Mr. Met has four fingers, like a lot of the great, uh, um, mascots and cartoon characters and stuff. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the same kind of shape I did with the thumb, but I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna draw three more of them. And the reason that I'm like folding them in like this is it looks like Mr. Met is hugging the earth, right? So you can see, I kind of, I just went, you know, one, two, three. So we have four fingers. And then with this little spot right here, I'm just gonna bring my earth down a little bit more. There we go. So you have one Mr. Met glove hand. Not too bad, right? So if you followed along at some of our other Mr. Met drawings, you would know that we draw him with this glove, right? So to do that, I'm gonna draw kind of this like rectangle shape, but curved on the sides, just like that. So I put that on the bottom because that's like the, the cuff of his glove, you know? That's the part where you're like sliding your hand into it. All right, so there's our one glove. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to draw Mr. Met's arm here. Kind of like that. 
So as you can see, your arm, when it, I know we talk about this a bunch, but it's always good to, as a reminder, your wrist is always thinner. So your part of your arm is thinner when you get to your hand by your wrist and like bigger towards your elbow because that's where like the muscle in your arm is, right? So we're going to kind of like make sure that our arm is fat towards the elbow and get skinnier towards the wrist. And how we do that is I'm going to come over and I'm going to start at the glove. I'm going to come out with a little bend and then I'm going to build up like that. So if you can see what I did is I went to the glove, I started a little skinnier, went down and then I came up a bit here. So this is gonna be like our wrist area and this up here is gonna be like our forearm. Great. So now I'm gonna do the same thing, but opposite, starting on the other end. So again, just a little thinner and I'm gonna build it up and then I'm gonna connect it at the bottom there. So this is kind of like the layout that I have right now. So we have, this is gonna be our earth and then we have Mr. Met's arm right here. Cool, right? All right. So now let's go ahead and let's put in that other arm. So it's gonna be similar to what we did before. So again, I'm just gonna draw like this little line, like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, that's where we're gonna have our thumb part. I'm gonna take a space and I'm gonna put this other little half circle coming up, just like this. So we have this kind of shape right now. And now that I have that, let's add in our finger. So I'm going to put my thumb right in here. So just the same thing you did on the other hand, what we're going to do here. And here I'm going to have my fingers coming around too. So I have one line come up like this, another line, and another. So you can see on that hand there, we have Mr. Met hugging tightly onto the earth because he loves it as he should. And then just like we did on the other hand here, I'm going to add that bottom part of that little rectangle there, which is like the bottom part of the glove. So all I did here is I just connected. I just took like a little bump here and another little curve, a little smiley face right there. So this is good if you guys wanted to draw Mickey Mouse or something. I'm trying to think of who else wears gloves, Bugs Bunny, you know? So you can always kind of do this. This is a good one time, one stop shop for all that. All right, so this is the area that we have now. I'm gonna fold my paper down a little bit so you guys can see it. Sorry about that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna ignore this part for a minute and we're gonna build up on Mr. Met's head. So basically you can see Mr. Met's, his head is big, right? He's like mother earth. So we're gonna have like, we're gonna build our hat and then our face up there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw Mr. Met's hat. So in order to do that, we have to imagine where we want our head to be. So I want my head big, right? Like something like this. So I'm going to put my hat right up here. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to draw this kind of like a curved line there. I'm sorry if my big fat hand got in the way there, but I'll bring it in. So basically what I did is I, I picture where I want my head to be, like this big space, and then I come up and I'm gonna put this little curve line up there because that's gonna be the, the part of the brim of our hat. That's the part of the hat that blocks the sun from your eyes, right? So now that we have that, I'm gonna come around on the top part here and I'm gonna curve up and then I'm gonna connect down here. So I almost have this like, almost looks like a duck bill, right? That kind of a shape. And again, I started down here, down, up, and then I came to the top and I curved it around and connected it right there. All right. So now that we have that, the brim of the hat, let's start to draw the hat. So to do that, I'm gonna make two little bumps or two little big rainbow shapes. So I'm gonna come right up here like the middle of my brim and I'm gonna make this one bump just like that for our hat. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, but back a little bit. So I'm gonna come back to the left a little bit and just create another little bump, just like that. So that's gonna be the most of our hat. And then I'm gonna add that little top on, that little half circle on the top. 
Oh my god, I, I apologize. I know that somebody told me the name of it, <laughs> but I totally forgot. I'm the worst. I'll write it down next time. I believe that was the the Levin family. Sorry if I if I remember that incorrectly. All right, cool. So now that we have our hat here, we're gonna draw basically kind of like a big circle almost that's gonna connect our earth to our hands. So this is our goal, something like that, right? So I'm gonna come down to my hands here and I'm just gonna go make a big curve line that connects like that. <laughs> I made this Mr. Man really big. And then I'm gonna come in on the other end and I'm just gonna connect, continue along with that circle. So this Mr. Mitt is massive. Look at that. A little bigger than this one here. Well, why not? Let's do it. We got the real estate on the paper, right? Look at that head. He's so excited. That's where all the money is for J-Lo and A-Rod to get. It's a Mr. Mitt's head right there holding this planet. Well, that would be a fun drawing if we drew Jennifer Lopez and A-Rod. Oh, man. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's continue with Mr. Met here. All right. So now that we have this giant head and this earth right here, what we're going to do is let's let's draw his face. So the first thing I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw his nose. Because if you've joined on our other drawings, you know that we like to add the nose in first because we can base our, our the rest of our facial features on there. So what I'm gonna draw is I'm gonna come up here. I want my nose right here, right? So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna make this big bend. And I'm gonna connect like this. So it's almost like a, like a horseshoe, right? Like a horseshoe shape or like a letter U and I turned it to the left on its side. We can get this big bump right there. So now what I'm gonna do, now that, so this is our nose. We're gonna base everything off that. I'm going to come up a little bit above our, our nose. And I'm just going to make this line that comes across like this. So this line that I made here, this is like kind of like your eyelid in a way. It's like where our Mr. Met's eyes are going to rest. I'm, you can see I'm touching my cheek here. <laughs> so he's like kind of resting on there. All right. So now that we have our nose and where our eyes are going to rest, let's go and let's put in those eyes. So just like we made the nose, we're going to do a very similar shape, but kind of facing the other way. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to make one shape like this. So there's one. And then I'm going to put another one back here. But what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to start like on my nose. So something like that. So the reason I did it like this on the nose right here is because if you put your eye behind the nose, it looks like your nose is popping out. Gives it more of a 3D look, right? So something fun right there. So now that we have our eyes on there, let's go and let's add some circles. So I'm gonna put one here, put one circle there, and then another circle here. So this is up to you where you want to put your circles. These are just like little eyeballs. Then I'm also going to put two little circles on the inside here. But I'm going to put them like at the bottom part of my eye circles, the little eyeballs I put there. You see those little, little circles on the inside? And then I'm going to color that in with the black ink that I have. Now you could, you could this is kind of cool. You could have Mr. Met have blue eyes or green eyes, whatever eyes you want. I'm just doing it in this ink here so you can see it. So you can see these eyeballs. The reason I have them looking down on the down bar a little bit is just so it looks like Mr. Met's looking down at the earth he loves so much, right? All right. So Mr. Met has these like eyelashes on this the side. If you ever see, they're kind of like these little bumps. So let's go ahead and let's draw those in. So what I do is I'm gonna come on the this eye on the left and I'm just gonna come up to the top and I'm gonna put like this like raindrop kind of shape. Just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. So you can see there's these little like, little raindrop sides for his eyelashes. And I'm just gonna color those in. All right. And then Mr. Met has eyebrows, right? So we're gonna draw these like comma shapes. So I'm gonna have one that comes up like here. 
So just like a comma or an apostrophe that you learn in school, right? It's that kind of shape, but like wide, like a bubble. So I'm gonna do that on both ends. So again, I'm just gonna come up, make that bump, and stop like that. And then I'm gonna color those in. Drawing the eyebrows of Mr. Med is one of my favorite things. I like to draw them like really up because he like looks surprised, they're like super happy. But it's cool if you want to draw Mr. Met like tough, you could like have him coming down a little bit. We'll talk about that in another class. All right, so now that we have our eyebrows, our eyes, our eyelashes, let's go ahead. I'm gonna add these little bumps kind of round off the sides of our eyelids right there. So you can see I put that like kind of like a little right here, a little bit of a bump on the end. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. Now this this is something that I like to do with my Mr. Met drawings, is it kind of looks like he's like, it gives a little bit of like definition to his face, right? And it's not just like a, a stark line that ends. And then I'm just gonna put this like quick little line underneath his eyes too. That's, that's how I draw my Mets there. Just makes them cute. So then, as you can see, the planet is in front of Mr. Met. He's like kissing it almost. He's like really happy to have it in front of him. So I'm gonna draw this like smiley face. So I'm just gonna draw it like right up here. Draw this curved line. That comes in like that. So nothing too crazy. Just a little curved line that comes into a planet. And then on the end of that line up here, I'm gonna draw this other curved line like that. You see that? Now, the reason I drew that line there is that it's like a smile line, right? Like we talk about when we have our players drawing and stuff, when Mr. Met's smiling, his cheek is going up a little bit, just like your face does. So that's why we have that there. All right. So let's go ahead and let's add the stitches into his, into his baseball head, right? So I'm going to have my stitches, one on the left, one on the right. I'm going to come up here on the left, and I'm just going to come down, see if you guys can see. And I'm going to build this like wavy line just like that, just a wavy line, kind of similar to when you drew the hat. And now what I'm gonna do here, see the, there's like the stitches in here. So I draw these like almost like heart shapes that come down. So basically here, we're just gonna draw some hearts coming. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna draw just a little heart. You guys draw hearts, right? For Mom's Day and Father's Day and for your grandparents or people you love or your favorite TV show, things like that. So see those little hearts there? I'm just going to continue those down and you can make as many as you want. I like to put like a little bit of space between each one. Gives it like a fun little addition to our drawing. Great. I love drawing Mr. Met. I hope you do too. I can do this all day. All right, so now we have our stitches on his baseball head on the left. Let's do them on the right. So same thing. I'm just going to draw another little wavy line. But it's kind of like going opposite, you know? Because imagine that the stitches, like, it's the piece of the baseball. It's like two pieces of leather, and they, they fold in like this. So it's like this is going to come down. And now those hearts are going to be going up. So you can, So there's two ways. You can turn your drawing upside down. That's what I'm going to do. And we can draw more hearts. So just like this. So you see, I'm just drawing the same hearts that I drew before. I just turned my drawing upside down to make it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to continue with that. And I'm just drawing these little stitches, these little hearts all around. So you see, so you see how they're like hearts? And then I flip it around. And it made a nice transition, right? See, they're going down this way and then coming up this way up here. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Look how tiny my Mr. Met hat is. <laughs> All right, enough of me making fun of my drawing here. Let's go in and let's add, so we're almost done actually. So what we're gonna do now is let's go in and let's add our Mr. Met sleeve in there, in this arm. And then we'll go in and we'll add the details like the plant, like the, the, the land and the Met logo. All right. so. I'm going to draw my sleeve. So it's going to be another like half circle, like a curve. And I'm basically going to curve it from here into our hand up here. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to come down and I'm just going to connect our sleeve just like this. 
So you find like a nice corner that you want it. Then I'm gonna take, come up in this part of our curved line. So here's the bottom. Here's the bottom. I'm just gonna come up a little bit and I'm just gonna draw this other little half circle. Just like this on the bottom. So this is like this part of the arm, right? So now that we have, this is like the inner part of the sleeve and that's the arm. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come down at the bottom part here and I'm gonna give a little space. I'm not gonna connect it right here. I'm gonna come right about here to make it look like the arm is coming out of the sleeve. And I'm just gonna come down and I'm gonna come like that. So you can see again, I started here. So here's the end of our sleeve. I came down a little bit. So now that I found that spot, I just went down and I curved down and then I curved back up to make that sleeve shape like that. All right. And then just for fun, I'm gonna add another, like these two little curved lines just on the inside of the sleeve there, just like this, like two of them. I don't know if you guys can hear my dog. She just came back from her walk again. <laughs> so anyway, so here's our sleeve and there's like our curved lines right there. So this is gonna be at just a little definition to the jersey. We can color that in later. All right, so let's go ahead and let's add some of the finer details in it to make this drawing really pop. So up here, I'm gonna draw the New York logo, just that Mets logo in there. So you can draw it a bunch of different ways. I like to do a little bubble letter action on there. So I'm drawing it really fast, but I'm gonna pause for a second there and show you a quick way how to do it too. So. Another easy way to draw the, the, the Met logo is if you just draw an N. So there's an N, right? So it's New York. So that's the N for new. And then, they, and then the Y is for York. So what I do for that is I come down and I'll kind of stop like right here. And then I'll build these like, they're almost like wings because the Y is like bent a little bit like that, right? And then those little wings that I put for that, like the Y, I put them on the ends of each of our of our lines there too, so the N and the Y. So that's a really quick, fun way to draw a Mets logo if you need to. It's 10 years of practice, look at that. All right, so now that we have our Met guy, he might... <laughs> I swear I drew this one. <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our earth in there. So you don't have to worry if it's not perfect. You can decide what part of the earth you wanna draw. I'll put that right there. So I will draw like North America and South America and like Europe and Asia up here. So I'm just gonna make like kind of like this, this shape. It's nothing too crazy, right? So here's California, I'm up here. Canada, you can draw where you're drawing from too. So like if you're in Canada, we'll wave to you, hello. Maine, come on down, there's Florida. So you can see this isn't a geological representation. <laughs> it's just kind of like a blob I'm making. And then we'll have South America down here. But this is fun, this is your drawing. So if you wanted to draw a different part, like if you want to have the earth coming the other way, cause you know the earth spins, you can draw Africa on there. Just draw Greenland. And then I'll put in those European countries right here. You could throw in that Italy boot. Great. So you could put in anything you want right there. So now you can see that we have our Mr. Med drawing right here. Pretty cool, right? So now that we have it, let's go ahead and let's color it in, right? So this is a, a lot of blue. So I'm just gonna draw our earth right there. It's a lot of water, right? And I'll just kind of fill that in right there. So, as I'm coloring it in, I always like to ask, where are you guys drawing from? I know we we go international here on our class with Herm. We have uh, friends in Milan that are drawing in Italy, friends in Japan, Australia. And then we have a lot of people in the US too, you know, uh, people in LA, close locally here, you know, people in the, in the boroughs, tri-state area. My point is everyone's everywhere. So you can see we've done nine episodes. So there's a lot of familiar faces down there in the chat room. So let us all know where you're drawing from, right? 
I'm gonna add some blue in these sleeves here too. So I'm not making it perfect. I'm just having fun here. And you guys can take your time with while you're coloring it on there. So as we're going in here too, make sure to hit you in the comments and stuff. What kind of stuff you wanna draw too? If it's up to me, we'll just draw Mr. Mets all day, but I know that that can get kind of boring. So if there's like a certain player you wanted to draw, maybe a certain moment in Mets history that you wanted to draw, why don't you go ahead and fire that off in the comments right there? And we'll get through those and we'll read it and we'll take some of those suggestions in. Because as you know, we do, we're gonna be doing this every Wednesday and Friday and we'll be releasing these at noon. So this way we have, we have a, lot of, a lot of ground to cover, you know? I think it'd be nice, especially since people aren't in school. They canceled that for a little bit, at least if you're in New York City. All right, so now I'm gonna add a little green here for our our shapes of our of our world. Super fun here. It'd be cool too if anybody wants to draw like a little whale or a dolphin or something in that thing. Man, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that's that's me, art directing you. So then, let's see. I got my red here. Let's put some red in for those stitches, which is the same color for the hearts, right? One of the things I really like about crayons is you don't have to be perfect with it. Crayons to me are like a like a fun a fun tool, right? You can just kind of throw it on in there. It gives it like a really fun little addition. And then I'm just gonna take like this little black right here. This is a fun little trick. And just his nose, just that little shadow. I'm just gonna lightly press to kind of pop. And then maybe a little black on the round on the sides. And again, I'm just lightly putting that in to kind of round out the head. So if you guys have ever taken a, if you ever drawn like a ball or like a like maybe a bowl of fruit or something, you can always you can add a little definition to the side to kind of make it pop. All right, there is your Mr. Met hugging the earth. Pretty awesome, right? So as we always say, you should be proud of your drawing. It's amazing. So it's best to sign your drawing um, and date it. So a lot of people sign it on the bottom right. So I'm gonna do the same thing. So I have this pink marker here. So I'm just gonna write my name there. Here, a little smiley face there. And then let's date it. So April 22nd, 2020. And what's real fun about this, if you continue to draw, keep on this journey of drawing and the funness of it, where you keep drawing the same thing over and over, you can look back in time and see how much you've progressed on it. So uh, one, I know I say this, but one day I'm gonna put on Instagram some of my first baseball uh, city field drawings that I've done. And the ones from 2014 are, are not so hot, <laughs> but it's fun because they get better overall. So that's the point. So we're here to have fun. So again, make sure you sign in, date your drawing on there. And that was awesome. So before you go, I wanna see your drawing. I love them so much. So here's the best way to show it to us and to show everybody. So on Instagram, you can tag me at Herm Herman. That's the good hand. I'm on Instagram quite a bit. My wife's always yelling at me. But anyway, give me a good reason to go on there. I want to see your drawing. I love them so much. You can also tag me at Herm's Terms on Twitter so I can see that. And don't forget to tag the seven line too. They're so amazing to letting us have this, this show to bring to everybody. So we want to make sure that we can share it with the world and share everybody. So anybody that tags us on there, I'm, I will absolutely answer any of your questions. I'll repost it and I'll say how much I love it. And if you want to see any of my other work, maybe not my non-baseball kind of work, you can go to my website here at hermsterms.com. You can see all the illustration work that I do right there. So awesome, guys. Thanks so much for drawing with me. And before we go, let's give you a peek at what we're going to draw next week. Nope, Friday. What is today? Oh, my goodness. It's just a consistent day of Mondays, basically. But... We're gonna draw this like Jacob deGrom pitching kind of thing. So kind of cute, right? So we'll change it up a little bit. This is not the final drawing, but I was just doodling with this last night to kind of work on it. I think it'd be kind of cute overall. So if you want to draw Jacob deGrom with us, uh, we'll be doing that on Friday. So that'll be the 24th, I believe. But if you're watching this 10 years from now in the future in YouTube, <laughs> every day is Friday, right? That's pretty awesome. So. 
guys, thank you so much. I love drawing with you. You make each and every day amazing. Uh, you guys are better than best. You make every freckle on my arm shine. So have a wonderful day, guys. I love you to death. Sh uh, tag us with your drawings. I can't wait to see them. And we'll see you next class, right? Bye-bye. <laughs>